All right, we're gonna bring Darren Cape up now. You all know him. Do a couple of giveaways. Did we get it all straightened out with the tickets? I heard you got them and they took them back. Somebody's got like 20 tickets, right? That's how it works. Who are you? Darren. There he is, huh? Good to be. Hi, everybody. I'm Darren Cap. I run uh, the Spoons.ca website. And uh, we're going to give away a few things here tonight to celebrate the 30th anniversary. So you should all have tickets that were given out uh, by somebody walking through the crowd. You can be Vanna White. Okay. The first, the first prize, well, the third prize for tonight is a brand new copy of Unexpected Guest at... Uh, Party. I should know. Um, unexpected guest at a council party. TV. Sandy is going to draw the winning ticket. The winning number is four five six seven zero zero. Gord's the winner. Anybody got seven hundred? Somebody's got to have it. Someone found it? We'll, we'll put your ticket back in for the draw. So. All right. The, uh, the runner-up is going to get a brand new copy of the just-released remastered version of Talk Back, first time on CD. And the winning number is four, five, six, six, two, seven. Nobody? There we go. Okay. Two, the, those two tickets are going back in for the big prize. Alright, so here's the story. Uh, Rob Pruse, everybody. Okay, so here's the story. Um, do you remember in the days when you actually used to used to be able to phone up radio stations and bands would come on and you could actually call in and talk to them, like what CFNY used to do? Well, I found I found this today, and it, this is my pack rack, um, which my wife calls collecting garbage. Um, it's a note that I wrote from Monday, November the third, 1986, and I wrote. Don't ask me why I have this still, but I do. Um, called CFNY and talked to Sandy Horn of Spoons. Asked about my job single. She said it was a limited edition single and only 100 were printed. That's my note. There's also notes about the unexpected guest content also. But anyhow, that single was the, actually it was called uh, After the Institution. My job was the B-side. Um, it was released on Mannequin Records. There was 1,000 copies printed. And uh, it is the single most difficult to find uh, Spoon's related piece of, of recording. If you actually can ever find it on eBay, it probably sells for several hundred dollars. The last time I saw them was about four years ago, so they're really, really hard to find. What we have for the first prize is a brand new, well, it's a brand old, original, never played version of that single. It is a real treasure, so one winner will get the lucky, will get this lucky prize.
Thanks, everybody. And it's a surrealistic honor to be up here, I must say. What did you see, Izzy, Edgar, Lizzie? You went to see Eddie Izzy. So was it funny? He's covered in bees. I don't think. Whatever that means. Covered in bees. It's like comedy slang or something. Well, you know what? We should do something from uh, an album that we did together. Why not? Eh? I'm not going to make a place like Vertigo. That would be really nasty. Right? Here's a little slice of talk back. We got a lot of requests through email, so we're gonna do a little bit of every one of them. 